ocho e e ya e ti atlon linikite ya e e ya shemante e aje e chitlo e e pinach e aje bahol ande e. For myself and the way I think, I think that it is something very important to learn. It's something that not a lot of people have the opportunity to be like to learn how to weave. Bit Athni Nile Kitlichitni Yeschin Tatni Zatni Dubiche Ki Ani Dubinella. <laughs> Medicine man the <laughs> ตาอินานเตโนเอยะเยนะชินทีนอดาชิยาฮอลอันเตอิตาชิเอยะเอ ซานิชินลีจซานดอสคิบาตาฮยันจอคอนดาอาฮานาลอจิลาติคาฮตาจิตอตาอาดิตาติตุติตาเชฮะเตเอยะเอดิเบสโอเอนติตินิลจินโน
Thank you. 
Ever since we were babies, my mom said that she would um, get a little crate and then put us in there and then put uh, blankets and pillows around us and we would sit beside her while she weave. So then um, it's just something that I know that we just grew up with because she's a rug weaver and that's how she grew up too because her mother was a rug weaver. And so then I think that to grow up with something like that, you're always being influenced and you're always being um, around it. And so that's how you just kind of pick it up. And I think that the the thing that I really like about it is be, the way my mom didn't force it on me, but rather she just presented the the weaving. And even though she made us weave before we would play, is something that I think like she didn't force it on us. We still had the opportunity just to walk out and go play, but she just said go ahead and weave first before you go play outside. And so then I know that I actually took the initiative to actually sit down and weave something before I would even go play. Right now, like I teach that to my kids. And one of the things that I really stress on them is learning back their um, Navajo culture. And I always tell them that um, you're Navajo, like that's who you are. And so just being Navajo is not just a label that you're given. It's something a lot more than that. I think knowing your culture and knowing where you come from plays a big role in how you're going to make a difference in the world. And you're going to have to start off with knowing who you are as a person before you actually go out and say like, oh, this is what I'm going to do and this is how I'm going to help people. You have roots, we have ancestors, this is where we came from. And so then I would talk to them about it every single day, just like um, when you're out here walking around with them, everything comes out to be a, a teaching moment. I think my, my favorite memory of my mother is when she laughs and when she smiles. And that's when like, I'm just happy to see her smile and happy.